Good morning students and welcome to your English class. In our today's class we will read a poem written by William Wordsworth. The name of the poem is Lines Written in Early Spring. So let's start. Lines Written in Early Spring by William Wordsworth is a landscape poem that is largely concerned with nature. The unnamed narrator lounges underneath a tree in the wilderness and contemplates the changes that society has undergone around him. Let's now read about the poet. William Wordsworth was one of the most influential of England's romantic poets. He began to write poetry when he was at school, but none was published until 1793. Throughout his work, Nature provides the ultimate good influence on the human mind. He repeatedly emphasizes the importance of nature to an individual's intellectual and spiritual development. His poems such as Daffodils, London, 1802, The Prelude, etc. explains his love of nature. Let's understand the poem stanza wise. Stanza 1 I heard a thousand blended notes while in a grove I sat reclined in that sweet mood when pleasant thoughts bring sad thoughts to the mind. Here the narrator is shown sitting at his ease very comfortably in a grove. A grove means a small group of trees, especially of one particular type. He is sitting there hearing the mixture of melodious songs of various birds. Initially, the mood of the poet is very happy, but this mood brought sad thoughts to his mind. Let's now understand stanza second. To her fair works, did nature link the human soul that through me ran and much it grieved my heart to think what man has made of man the narrator here thinks that the nature has done an excellent job of creating various creatures in this world his own human soul is also one of nature's creation as he sits there in the lap of the nature, he feels as if his soul is linked to the nature and her creations. And it is this link that causes him to feel great sorrow. He thinks how one man harms other men. He refers to the way in which man has destroyed the world and has made it an uncomfortable place for other humans to live in. Through primrose tufts in that sweet bower, the periwinkle trailed its wreaths, and it's my faith that every flower enjoys the air it breathes. The speaker here is observing the way the plants grew in that grove. He is noticing that there are primroses growing in bunches. A primrose is a yellow colored spring flower. And through these bunches runs a periwinkle creeper. A periwinkle is a flowering plant 
and creepers are the plants that can get off the ground in case any support is present with the natural support or an artificial support and now while looking at the way these flowers bloom together the speaker has come to an understanding that all the flowers are happy and that they enjoy the simple pleasures of life like appreciating the air that they are breathing the birds around me hopped and played their thoughts i cannot measure but the least motion which they made it seemed a thrill of pleasure the speaker further notices how the bird in that grove hopped about playing with each other he admits that he cannot read their minds or know what they are thinking but still he is able to read the way in which they move and while observing their jumps and their hops the speaker feels that every single movement they make expresses great happiness and this happiness is caused by their life or the circumstances they live in the budding twigs spread out their fan to catch the breezy air and i must think do all i can that there was pleasure there now here the speaker is also noticing the branches of the trees in the grove with new leaves appearing on them and these leaves have now spread out in such a way that they look like a fan the speaker feels that the purpose of these leaves spreading like fans is to catch and enjoy the breeze blowing there and the very sight of these branches makes the speaker conclude that there is great happiness and joy in that grove if this belief from heaven be sent if such be nature's holy plan have i not reason to lament what man has made of man in the last stanza the poet looks at the way the plants and the birds are so much in harmony with each other he realizes that this life of happiness and peace is the way nature wants the people to live and when he realizes this fact he feels that he has every reason to weep over the way in which man is currently living how humans are making each other unhappy and uncomfortable let's now quickly go through the summary of this poem next class with another interesting lesson till then take care stay home and stay safe